then there's this chemical in the brain that's released from you know what Descartes referred to as the seed of the soul, and yes, and the Egyptians uh, you know referred to as the the eye of Horus. The only unilateral structure in the brain is in the, the brain. brain. And it seems like a very interesting structure, and it's been implicated in um, uh, well mystical states only because it it has there is uh, <laughs> some limited data, like uh, Horacio was alluding to that. It, its data is not very convincing, but it is a, it is a, the data that does exist. It shows that it's a precursor to a, a chemical that's naturally occurring in the brain and is a DMT. It's a it's a psychedelic that's used for very short, um, intense psychedelic experiences, uh -huh. mm -hmm. and so that's why I was thinking, Sadhguru, you've been referring to the moon and, and working with the moon, the, 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 the cycle of the moon specifically for spiritual purposes. David, uh, the thing is, uh, see, in the yogic system, there are simple processes with which, particularly on full moon nights, where you can get totally stoned out just on moonlight. Mm -hmm. There are processes to do that. And <laughs> as you can see, I don't know what the DMT is, you can see I'm on it all the time. <laughs> no substance from outside, it's from within. It is in some way, uh, on one level, in the physiological level, the significance of yoga is to stay in tune with the sun and moon cycles in relation to the planet. That is the only way this life can be in balance and with least amount of friction within itself because then the life's experience as, uh, I mean, whatever the chemicals you're discussing, serotonin, melatonin, all this stuff, essentially you're saying chemistry determines the nature of your experience of life itself. So, to maintain that chemistry which is always blissful and ecstatic, moon and being aligned with the moon is a very important part of it. So, uh, there are various practices associated with that, one thing I would like to request uh, Professor Horace is if they can invest a certain amount of attention towards what is happening in the gut with the full moon, new moon, I think it may be far more easily measurable than what is happening in the brain because what is happening in the brain, we see it only as a consequence. The real thing is happening in the gut. You may see certain effects in the brain, what is a consequence is one thing, but the process, the changes that are happening within the gut region is very big. What is happening is there more solid kind of stuff, it is more uh, tangible that maybe it is more easily measurable than what's happening in the brain.